Let the, dro the robot drive the autonomous car. That's Wired Magazine. An autonomous car is now driving in 14 states. Pretty soon, you're not going to be allowed to drive your car. They're going to say statistically robots are safer. They're actually already talking about that. I knew they'd do that, and they're doing that. <laughs> this is the prison they build. Because after all, a terrorist could use a car to run over somebody. So the robots are taking over. Uh, some good news. Senate passes bill allowing airports to evict TSA scanners. You, 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 airports could kick them out to begin with. But whatever. Uh, we've got a bunch of other news on that front. Now, actually, we were able to find the document Dr. Monteith's talking about that I guess he might have been sent beforehand. This is actually on the Council on Foreign Relations own website, CFR.org. I can show people watching on PrisonPlanet.tv a document cam shot of this uh, screen over here. Recent events in Iran and the progress of its nuclear program. And again, I've got it right there on the TV screen for folks if they want to see that. And it's got the speakers. Uh, including Stanton Nuclear Security Fellow, Council on Foreign Relations, uh, that um, and, and the former you know, head guy at the uh, Department of Defense under SecDef, uh, breaking it down. And yeah, here they are publicly. What about Gary Hart writing that letter uh, to Ahmadinejad saying, our government will stage a Gulf of Tonkin or Maine. Don't think we won't attack you. A public letter. What about all these Obama advisors like Robert Shapiro and the Financial Times of London saying, without an Oklahoma City or 9-11, to blame on Obama's opposition, he's not going to win re-election. And then internal memos that have gone public where they're like, sir, we need one. It's like that famous audio that got leaked of the six former generals that were all the uh, pundits on news shows and an aide recorded it where they're like, they're like, Secretary Rumsfeld, we need a new 9-11. They will not listen. He's like, I know, but it's hard. Why do they even release that? I mean, Dr. Monteith, they come within one inch over and over again these days from just admitting they're doing it. They act like we're children. Clapper, the head of national security, he's in, the, in, in white paper saying we need a provocation with Iran. I mean, they act like we, we're not reading what they're saying. It's like all the books are in the library, but nobody reads. You're absolutely right. And the thing is that they have total disdain for us common people because they don't think we're smart enough or, or really care enough. I mean, they keep us entertained. We have the Super Bowl. We have Madonna dancing there at the, at the, at the Super Bowl, a vulgar display, you know. And certainly, if this is our, I mean, I love football, but certainly I, I object to the, to the, the uh, uh, the the vileness of so many of the must be what watching a disgusting globalist uh, in a uh, in a luciferian outfit prance around it was pathetic but, but to see the the, the thing is uh, Alex, as you recognize the spiritual component of this, and I do as well, the average individual doesn't. They look upon this that they Democrat, Republican, right, left, conservative, liberal. They look upon this thing from a geopolitical point of view without understanding that there are spiritual forces behind the scenes. If you read what Matthew Kronig says in this publication that you're displaying there on the screen, why it doesn't make sense. I mean, here is an intelligent, articulate individual who's talking about, you know, well, we know that after this attack, there's going to be retaliation. We'll be prepared to uh, absorb the retaliation. Then we'll try to certainly quiet things down afterwards. What makes him think for one minute that, that the human... That's because the they're going to blow stuff up if Iran doesn't, guaranteed, because the real target is us, the American people. That's why they're going to stage this. Dr. Monteith, we'll have to talk to you again as this unfolds. God bless you, my friend. Hour number three, straight ahead. Stay with us. What's up with these sorry politicians? Lots of bark. When it's showtime, whimpering like little shih tzus. You want big cuts? Ron Paul's been screaming it for years. Budget crisis? No problem. Got a trillion bucks year one. That's trillion with a T. Department of Education? Gone. Interior? Energy? HUD? Commerce? Gone. Later, bureaucrats. That's how Ron Paul rolls. Want to train the swamp? Ron Paul. Do it. I'm Ron Paul, and I approve this message.